to day six of the 30 day wellness journey and we are going to talk about the evening routine and yesterday we talked about the morning routine and the importance of creating that healthy intention in the morning that's going to carry on that momentum for the end of the day so you might be wondering okay why would i need an evening routine if i have a morning routine the body and the mind crave structure and the body and mind crave predictability. If the mind and body know what you're gonna be doing in the evening to prepare for bed, when you start doing that routine, your brain and body are naturally gonna say, oh, okay, it's time to wind down. It's time for us to slow down. It's time for us to get into that headspace of going to sleep. And as we know, we are constantly overstimulated with our cell phones, TVs, tablets, media, everything that you can think of, we are constantly being hit left and right of information that we are trying to consume. And if we can create a routine in the evening where the mind and body know this is our time to just slow down, look inward, and just take a moment to pause, it is going to help you have better sleep. Research has shown that if you have evenings without your cell phone, you will have less interrupted sleep. And what I mean by interrupted sleep is maybe you have the ability to fall asleep, but staying asleep is really hard for you, or you wake up before your alarm, or you're constantly tossing and turning. Sometimes the brain takes a minute to wind down and calm down. So here are some ideas of what you can do for your evening routine. You could stay off of your phone. You could read a book, have some calm. Calm is this magnesium supplement that kind of helps relax and kind of unwind the muscles. You could do some light stretching. You could take a hot bath, you could color, do a puzzle, basically any activities that's going to naturally calm your mind from the go, 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 go day. So think of your morning routine of kind of that energy to create this alert energy to kind of wake you up and create this momentum. And the evening routine is designed to slow you down, kind of cozy. This would be the perfect time for you to color, to snuggle up in your favorite blankets. And you really want to make sure your evening routine has nothing to do with electronics. So you might be doing a meditation on electronic, but really try to not be looking at the screen. Something that I've been doing, and obviously if you haven't, if you don't have this product, you can't do it, but my Apple Watch connects to my phone. So what I've been doing in the morning and the evening is I've been going on there to click the meditation because it's not as bright of a screen to wake up your brain. And I can put my headphones in and I can connect to it without even having my phone. So for those of you that have smart watches, that might be a hack for you to help you in the evening. So again, the evening routine is designed to naturally lower your heart rate, calm you down and prepare you for an amazing night of rest. The morning routine is really there to jazz you up. So when you're thinking about your current evening routine, ask yourself, what are you currently doing? You might be brushing your teeth, washing your face, getting your PJs on. That might be what you're currently doing. So today's reflective question is asking yourself, what is your current evening routine versus what would you like your evening routine to look like? Again, our routines don't need to take a lot of time. It could take five, 10 minutes. It could be, they even have, I think it's called one minute journals on Amazon where you can literally write one minute journal. You could literally journal for one minute. You could do a breath work exercise for one minute. You could do a light round of tapping. You could just lay and read a little bit of whatever, maybe some scripture or your favorite spiritual book. But the goal is to really calm your mind down to have that amazing rest. So the reflective question, again, just to reflect, is what is your current evening routine versus what would you like your evening routine to look like? And what is something that you could change to get closer to that ideal evening routine? Do you need to just turn off your phone and put it away? Do you need to watch one less TV show in the evening so you can make time to do that? I know as soon as we get caught up in social media, like maybe you've been working all day and you're like, man, but the evening is my favorite time to catch up with my friends. And maybe you can just set a timer. Maybe you're used to doing 20 minutes of social media. Maybe you say, all right, I'm only gonna do 15 because I'm gonna do five minutes with my evening routine of preparing me 
to do that. So those are some things that you can do. And if you have gotten the free calendar slash journal, that can be a part of your evening routine is journaling and doing the inspired action. So you can write out in the journal, if you don't have that calendar, the link in the description to get the calendar for you to follow along on this 30 day wellness journey. So your inspired action for tonight is to do one thing on your ideal evening routine that you can start consistently doing to prove to your mind and your body that it is easy for you to create an easy dynamic evening routine. Again, the routine is designed to help you. It's designed to wind you down and naturally lower your heart rate so you can prepare for rest and sleep. The evening routine is not designed to stress you out or for you to think it's another thing to check off your list. It is designed to add value to your life and it is also designed to make you feel worthy and deserving of connecting to your inner compass. And if the idea of spending time with yourself has been challenging or even like, ugh, this is a lot, consider joining the membership. I have EFT tapping videos that correspond with all of the 30 day wellness journey videos. That way you can EFT tap on whatever we're bringing up. So if there's any resistance that's showing up on implementing those inspired actions, I would really recommend joining the membership. And you can always cancel at any time. It's just like a subscription. So that might be another option for you. And tomorrow is day seven. I cannot believe that we are already at seven days of the 30 day wellness journey. You are above the rest because so many people at this point have stopped watching and you have dedicated and made the commitment to yourself and I'm so proud of you and you should be so proud of yourself. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow, day seven. You should be so excited that you've made it this far and you keep being consistent with your wellness.